Bold the beautiful, 5292, 310, 2008. Hate what this is doing to Taylor. She's a boy's mother. She wants to see him. Of course she does. She loves him. No one is questioning that. She comes over here with a piece of paper asking me to sign it, saying that she can regain custody and I don't do it. Because she's not ready. You did the right thing. Did I? Not I over, knew Taylor. it. I just wanted to make sure I could get my son home with me. And you will. I know you said it wouldn't hurt to try, but it does. It does hurt. It's not going to hurt your chances of getting custody. Nick thinks I'm crazy. He doesn't even trust me. He doesn't want to support me at all. All right, then you know what? Nick is the crazy one, not you. Look, I'm sorry, OK? I didn't, I didn't mean to push it. I just thought we could get ahead of things. You're the only one who cares about me. You're the only one in my corner. If we're crying out loud, let's just do it and get it over with. Well, we have to wait for Donna. You know that Dad wants her opinion. Where is the prima donna? Tiny? Are you okay? Oh, my sweet baby, what is it? Are you sick, Tiny? My poor baby, what is it? Nice of you to finally join us. What's this? It's Ashley's new fragrance. Oh, it's nice. That's the scintillating insight we were waiting for? What do you think of it? Well, I... What the hell is that smell? Oh. What is that? I don't know. It's coming from reception. Tiny, no! Oh, no! Oh, sweetheart! Is your stomach upset? Tiny! Oh, God. Pam, what is going on? Lord, Tiny's really sick. Yeah, I, that's sick, all right. Oh, I, nothing like this has ever happened before, I swear. Uh, I'll go get the janitor. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I'm sorry. Uh, Pam, you, you've got to get this dog out of here. What? You couldn't help it. Well, Pam, if he's sick, take him to the vet, but he can't stay here. Taylor, come on, let's go for that swim. It'll clear your head. Look, I brought your bathing suit and everything. Jack should be here with me in his home with his mother. I know. These things take time, OK? Time for what? What? What What else do I have to do, Rick? Nothing, Taylor. The, the judge will. The judge? I can't even convince my own husband, my ex-husband, that, that I'm OK. Why would the judge think I've changed? This is a man who vowed to love me forever. I mean. Yeah, I know, I know. Nick, he really let you down. The way I feel right now, maybe he's right. Maybe he has a point. No, no, Taylor. No, a mother should be able to go through anything for her baby. But the idea of going through a custody battle for my own child and then the thought of sharing my child with Brooke, I cannot handle that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to fight my mother right alongside you. That's a promise. And it's a promise you can count on. Maybe I'm making this whole thing worse. You have an obligation to keep your son safe. Safe from his own mother. You care about Taylor. You don't want to hurt her. <sighs> you were here. You saw this. You saw how she reacted. Yeah, and I think that goes a long way to proving that she's not as stable as she claims. You know, Nick, you don't have to choose between Taylor and Brooke as to who should share custody. That's not your only option. I'm listening. You could hold on to full custody yourself until you're confident that Taylor is ready, no matter how long that takes.
We need to get this cleaned up ASAP. Janitor's on his way. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, yes. Find out if there are any clients in the building and okay. keep them away from this area, okay? Sure thing. Thank you. I'll take them down to the loading dock. Pam, I don't want this dog in the building. No, Aunt Pam. In fact, he can't be here ever again. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I, I can't leave him at home all day alone. I... L.A. has some really nice doggy daycare centers. Oh, Felicia, you don't understand. I couldn't do that. He needs me. He's my baby. I'm sorry, Pam. You did this to my baby! Nick really should have signed that document. God, if he just cared about you at all, but... Honestly, Nick doesn't want me to have custody of Jack. Not up to Nick Taylor, it's up to the judge. Yeah, but if Jack's father doesn't think I'm fit... You don't need Nick's approval! You don't. Think about it, you've done everything the court has asked you to do, right? You're going, you're going to therapy. You've subjected yourself to their official evaluation. That carries more weight than Nick's twisted opinion. We don't know what it says, though, yet. I do. It says that you deserve to have your custody reinstated. It has to. Anything else would just be a lie. You're going to get Jack back in this house. All you need is a chance to prove yourself, and you're going to get that chance in just a few days. And everyone in that courtroom is going to see exactly what I see. The most amazing woman, mother, on the face of the planet. Permanent custody. Jack needs a mother. Both. Brooke and Taylor have issues. They are not good influences on Jack right now. They have issues with him, with you. God knows they have issues with each other. I mean, they're at each other's throats. They're angry, they're suspicious, maybe even a little paranoid. It's not gonna get any better if they think I'm cutting them out of his life. Well, maybe it will wake them up and make them realize how foolish they've been. The bottom line is, Jack is safe with you. Jack needs a mother. He has one. She just can't take care of him right now. I don't know what good I'm gonna be. You know, legal battle here for custody. Who knows how long that'll take. Be neck deep in a court case. You wouldn't be alone. This little guy would get plenty of love and attention from both of us. You're not too thrilled about your sister's interest in Jack, are you? It doesn't solve anything. It just makes Taylor more desperate and defensive. You're worried about how Taylor's going to react. I'm worried about everyone. You do realize how Brooke and Taylor are going to react if I fight for full custody. You would be making a deliberate, well-thought-out decision. As opposed to what Brooke is doing. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my sisters, but caution is not necessarily one of their strong points. They jump in, they do what feels right in the moment, without any regard to the consequences. You don't do that, do you? Not usually. What is it? Why are you really so worried about Katie? I'm worried about Jack and about you. 
And after what we just witnessed with Taylor, I'm worried about her. I, I think that she has lost the most because of Brooke. How do you always know the right thing to say? I'm wise beyond my years. Oh, no. You can't be that wise. Look at the position you're putting yourself in, taking my side over your mother's. Taylor, I, I really don't see it that way at all, to be honest. I, I think it's more about Jack than it, than it is about you and my mom. I mean, I want Jack to grow up with a life that is as peaceful and uncomplicated as, as possible. Believe me, I know what that's worth. Because you didn't have that kind of peace growing up? No, no, I didn't. Look, I, I know that, you know, kids are always going to have their struggles, right? But I can promise you one thing. I'll give you my word that Jack is not going to talk about this situation 30 years from now to his therapist. Oh, that's very reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you just, you keep doing what you're doing, okay? And Jack will never know what a, a mess his life could have been. And anytime you get, you get scared or freaked out, lonely, I want you to lean on me, okay? I may not always say the right thing. I may not say anything at all. But I'll be here for you, with you, right where I need to be. This situation has, has been, it's been tough on everybody. And it's, it's hard, but I, I have to say, it, it, it brought me to you. I'm kind of glad it, it, that it's happened, you know? It's opened a door, if you will, for, for me to be in your life. And I'm grateful for that. And you're gonna have your son back. You're gonna have me. And everything's just gonna be fine. I wanna believe you. You can. I do believe you. I love you. Could you please close the door? There's an, an awful stench in the hall. You made Tiny sick. Admit it. Admit what you did to me. You made me the laughing stock of this company. Now the tables are turned. How's it feel, Pammy? What did I do to you, really? I didn't disfigure you. You got a bad dye job. Was it that unbearable? You couldn't survive a couple of days without a perfect exterior? You had to go and poison my dog for revenge? I didn't do anything to your dog, Pam. He was growling at me, I mean, threatening to, to tear me from limb to limb. I was terrified. You weren't around to call him off, so I, I tossed him some lemon bars, that's it. You, you gave him lemon bars? You know he can't eat those, he has a sensitive stomach. I told you that, Donna. Oh my God, so that's what happened to him, that's why all the lemon bars were gone. How can you be so cruel? I didn't mean to hurt the dog. Eric deserves so much better than you. Oh, you give it a rest. Eric wants me and not your, your poor pathetic little sister Stephanie, okay? Soon we're gonna be married and there's nothing that you or anyone can do about it. Me, me, me. That is all you ever think about, Donna. Have you ever thought for one minute what this marriage is gonna do to Eric's life, to his family? his reputation, this company. You know, I think spending all that time in the kitchen has cooked your brain. I, I don't know whether to, to laugh at you or, or call security. Oh, don't you dare call security. This isn't just about Stephanie anymore. You just made this personal. Aunt Pam, hurry. Something is really wrong with Tiny. Oh, God.
Tiny, Tiny, look at me. Wake up, sweetheart. Wake up, Tiny. What happened? Did he pass out? Look what you did to him! This is not my fault. Oh, yes, it is. You fed him all those sweets. I did not. I, I was protecting myself. You're a liar. Liar! I'm not lying. I, look, you know that dog hates me. No. No, you hate the dog, Donna. And you finally got even with him, didn't you? Look, I, I didn't mean to do anything to your dog, Pam. I swear. You could swear on a stack of Bibles and I wouldn't believe you. Eating all those lemon bars could kill him. No. No, he, he's gonna be okay. He's... Tiny? Tiny, wake up. Tiny, wake up. What? Would you put some clothes on? Will you take some clothes off? We're supposed to be swimming right now. Look, if you don't want to get your bathing suit, we can always go skinny dipping. Stop it. <clears throat> what? I can't help it. You drive me wild. <sighs> what you do for my ego, this hot guy all crazy about me. Yes, I am a very hot guy. Look at you. <laughs> I mean, your, your eyes and your hair and all the way down to the tips of your toes and everything in between. What do you know about everything in between? Not enough. God, I want to make love to you so badly. I'm bursting at the seams. I want to make love to you, too. Great. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Because the time isn't right. Not yet. We have a lot of issues to deal with. We have Phoebe. We have... Jack, your mother, Ridge, I, I, it's, it is not completely right yet. That's what I want to wait for. How, I have never felt this way in my entire life. How could any part of this be wrong? There's just a lot to consider. I, I still can't believe Rick and Taylor Please, I'm not even divorced. She's still my wife. He's a kid. It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's... Uh, they must be confused. I mean, I can't imagine that that's going to turn into a lasting, stable relationship, which honestly is exactly what Jack needs. I mean, I want this to work out. I know that Jack needs his mother, but... Yeah? But what? I don't like the idea of spending less time with him. I... He's become very special to me. Well, there's no question. Kid loves you. I love him. He's such a happy kid, and how could he not be? He's got you. Strong, loving father. I didn't have a whole lot of that growing up. I think your commitment to your son is beautiful. It's a pleasure to watch. It's a pleasure to be around. You are a pleasure to be around. I'm not impressed by a lot of people, but I'm impressed by you. I'm very impressed. <laughs>